<laughs> I save it tomorrow. Who? I was like you. Sad. You? Ah, no, it was like my homie. My homie. Oh, that's kind of weird. How? He needed someone to spot him. <laughs> Why the fuck is he asking like people in our, in our chat? You think no, our chat? No, he wasn't asking motherfuckers from our chat. Oh. Like before I went live with him, there was only like three people in there and everyone knew him. And they'd be like, yo. <laughs> oh shit, I just had an aneurysm. <laughs> He'd be yeah, like, right. go, go to the gym with me. I'd be like, nah. <laughs> Bro, I really went out and bought this book in the summer. Y'all know how far I got into Capital? Like a three pages. <laughs> Fucking eight pages. And I, I <laughs> shut that shit and was like, Dude, this is awful. I can't. Best part about living in Dixie, the water comes from the Appalachians. And it tastes so Shut good. Shut the fuck up. It's literally oh. true. Oh, my God, bro. You buy that's bottles? your selling? No, that's cringe. I drink straight out the tap because in my state, I'm not worried about the water. Okay. Bit, we got mm -hmm. Biff, 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 we got Biff, Columbia Biff. University cap. We got I do. Ira shades. I do drink we got We got the vintage Atlanta 96 crew neck that's fucking fire. By minute made that is pretty and then, fire and we're in some jeans minus the minute made shit but that's fine i do drink out the tap it's just this shit tastes so good that sometimes you're like oh hell no chat he might have a good fit but does he have male manipulators oh my god my fit is fantastic <sighs> i won't gaslight you i promise did your friends tell you that i would or something <laughs> It's been a while, yeah, because I have a, I have a life. <clears throat> Yo, doing real life shit makes makes you lose motivation to doing this stream so fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, like, bro. If I I'll if get, any of my homies call me up, I'm probably taking that. You said that you've set a hangout to join the fucking live with it. That is true. I have done that. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like th there will be times where like Ilya will send the code or send the link. It'll be like ten thirty, and I'm like, all right, do I want to slide me? He says, I'm on a bus. No, the fuck you're not. Yeah, I literally was last night. <laughs> I was at a wrestling tournament on on the way home. It was like I got home and I was like, I, right, I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> fuck you, Ilya. <laughs> fuck you, stream. <laughs> Yo, shit. I gotta find this. Let <laughs> I me mean, crack it up. I guess you have to use the word up after you say crack it. Uh, you're not supposed to end a sentence in a preposition. Okay. <laughs> I was right. I was right. Okay. Y'all see they caught Alfred Payton lacking on his Ooh. burner account? The, the NBA player? Yeah, he plays for the he plays for the Knicks, right? And everyone shits on everyone shits on him on Twitter. So he made a burner account, <laughs> and they caught him lacking. It's oh, uh, no. the at is Knicks fan sixty three. So some some Knicks account tweets, and they're like, uh, like in the tweet, they like cap on uh, they cap on him, right? They cap on Alfred Payton. So he makes this account and he's like, wow, so Elf has a bad assist day and y'all post this? See, this, that fake stuff I'm talking about, SMH. Someone responds because they know it's him by now. They're like, you played like shit, bro. And he's like, who is you? I'm literally just a fan, man. Oh, bro. Oh, just no, a fan, no, that's man. incriminating he's right there. Fans, bro. <laughs> this one? Another game, but this time New York has to let Alfred control the game more. Let him get comfortable, then the results would speak for themselves. No! 38-23. They said, LMFAO, do you honestly think the results would be different if you controlled the game more? Wait, wait. It gets worse, bro. <laughs> Someone said, always pick brothers up. He says, please tell that to the Knicks fans. <laughs> he said, shut the fuck up, <laughs> you fucking goofy. He said, he finally makes a clarification. I am not Alfred Payton. You guys got to chill. This could make him look bad. They tweet <laughs> while Alfred Payton is in the game. I already addressed that, man. I always work during the games because of my work schedule. <laughs> Wait, the fucking pin tweet. I am not Alfred Payton. That same one. Someone tries to reset the password. It says, 
You can use information associated with your account. Send an email to alfredpayton at gmail.com. <laughs> no way does he make his email Alfred Please Payton. Please tell me he got his contract terminated. <laughs> oh my God. That shit had me dying. Holy fuck. <laughs> Then fucking go, bro. I told you, I got work when the games are happening. <laughs> Damn, man, I'll always have work during the games. SMH, you should have just ignored that. <laughs> this is what I love to see, man. Alfred controlling the game while scoring at a high level. It's beautiful. <laughs> he tweeted. He really tweeted that New York lets to let him control the game. <laughs> like, bro, talk to your damn coach. <laughs> Dude, okay. Remember when the fucking the that 76ers like exec had a had a burner account? No. Dude, it was like their fucking GM. Or you know, it was Brian Colangelo, which was like the, the top executive on their team, who had like a burner account that he used to like shit talk his players. <laughs> <laughs> like, that be so funny. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I gotta pull this up. Dude, it was so funny. Oh, uh, he like, cause like they beef. Like him and Joel Embiid had beef, and so he used his uh, uh, his fucking burner account. But, yeah, he, he was the president of basketball operations and general manager. He had to resign after this shit. Shut up about the pigtails before I put it on emote only. Stop telling me to do pigtails. Pay attention nah, to the conversation. Nah, bro. No, I'm saying this. I'm saying this because this was annoying me yesterday too. Because I was trying to explain the situation with GME, and everyone was just talking about like astrology and shit in chat. And I was like, oh my god, I'm really just like, this is why. I, like, why do I go live? <laughs> I, I literally made a I made a Weeble account right after all that shit happened. I was like, all right, AMC is down from twenty dollars to fourteen dollars. I'm gonna buy some. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. That shit hit seven. I was like, dude, yeah. okay, I lost, I lost seven dollars. Oh, you share. bought one share? You're you so one brain. share. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, bro! I big brain this shit is so fucking hard. All right, I was like, at the end of one day, I was like, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, this looks pretty good. Maybe we'll have another great day, like GameStop or something like that. Bought at seventeen, right? You know, boom, goes from seventeen all the way down to six fifty two. I buy at eight and eleven fifty. And it goes all the way back up to fifteen oh five or something like that. Sell, make profit. Let's go, bro. I'm just the greatest, bro. I'm low key on my stock market arc. So am I. <laughs> I know, right? Same. Bro. I'm, I'm literally. I'm. I'm about to buy a build a bear. Not, not even because I. Fu not because I'm investing. Because I'm laughing at all the morons who are like, "I'm gonna be rich off of this situation. I will buy myself a penthouse in Miami after GameStop hits." No, out. no, like, like I, I for real put twenty dollars into Weeble just so I could say AMC to the moon and like feel like I had a dog in the fight. <laughs> this cat retweets Elon Musk tweets. What the fuck is this? Hold bro? up, hold up. That's untrue. I gotta make sure that's untrue. Let me check my Twitter. Untrue, page. untrue. Motherfucker, you can use the word false. I think I might have retweeted the Andrew Yang tweet, which I think is just as bad. <laughs> yes, they're pretty similar. Oh, yep. Um, I'm just gonna undo retweet. Undo retweet again. We're good. I'm about to buy Build a Bear Workshop stock. Just so I can invest in BBW, that's like the name for it. It's like the porn category. That's some cringe shit. That's like yeah. that's like middle school shit. That's my thirteen year old humor coming out, man. Pornhub finna IPO soon. He really had to clarify what a BBW. Was. No one laughed, so I had to clarify because it was a middle school thing to say. What? He said. He what said. Is going on right now? You, you really, you really said like the porn category. <laughs> no one said like the porn category. Maybe bro, next time you guys should laugh at my jokes. Bro, I've been doing homework since three. Oh my god, dude. Tanish, who That's do you want? So who do you want to, who do you want to win? Who do you want to win Sunday? Who do you want to win Sunday? I want the Bucks to win so Brady Straight. retires. Okay, Factual. I actually, I fucking hate Tom Brady. I want the Bucks to win though for the underdog story. 
Uh, I just want to see a, a good, hard-fought game. No, no, I just want the Bills. I, I just want to see good Brady smash football from like, two teams just really going at it. If Brady doesn't retire, if he wins the Super Bowl, he's literally stupid, bro. <laughs> like, imagine retiring, going down, like, in the first round. I don't think he will. Bro, that would be the stupidest thing. <laughs> I know, I know. He could have gone down beating his two biggest rivals and then the newcomer. <laughs> Did you see the phone call where Bill Belichick found out that the Bucks made the playoffs? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, what are you Brady he fucking through that phone, bro. Oh my gosh. Let me find bro, this. Bro, hold up. Watch this. Watch this shit. <laughs> what are we watching? Some white shit. <laughs> what? <the hell? laughs> bro, uh yeah, no, I also never want to see a team win back to back because that just ruins football. We need more parity in the league. I just yeah, we do. Two, two well-coached Smash Mouth football teams. All right. Got it. So what massive ammonia can be synthesized from yeah, one yeah. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, everyone. Oh, my God. This had me fucking crying. I think Brady called him, right? And he was like, we made the playoffs or some shit. <laughs> and motherfucker, this Patriots co coach, Bill Belichick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He chucked that shit. He was so mad, bro. And he knew damn well everyone was watching. He did not give a fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate them. I hate him. I actually hate him. Bill Belichick? Bill Belichick. Yeah. Why? Dude, I can't honestly, stand him. I don't know. I've just always hated him. I don't I get think, it. I think it's because I used to be the biggest fucking Broncos fan before I was a uh, like Browns fan like that. I am a New York Giants fan because Daniel Jones is the New York Giants quarterback. But I actually like love Tom Brady. I hate Tom Brady, dog. I, I can fucking love him, dude. He's just like my watch. entire childhood. Tom Brady was the fucking villain. He just was being able to watch undisputed greatness, like him and LeBron are like the same thing to me. It's like I just oh! watch him. Damn. These are the most dominant wait, players wait, 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 wait. in their games. It's like it's just it's impressive to watch. I'm, no, I see, just want to sit see, back and let Tom Brady no, no, follow hold up. up. Hold up, hold up. You could like I would agree that you could compare him to MJ because they're just both dicks, but you can't compare him to LeBron. Like okay, no, I, I'm saying I'm saying like in my in my childhood, yeah, the like, dominance of LeBron is comparable to the dominance. Oh. Listen, Tom Brady was number one menace to me growing up. I couldn't fucking stand him. He was so annoying. Pulled up to every fucking Super Bowl. Hella annoying. Like, it was the most boring shit of all time. It made football boring for me. Literally, literally how am I wrong? Tom Brady, Tom Brady's 10 Super Bowls is literally just like LeBron's, like, 10 final. Like, it's the same yeah, thing. but it's like a disrespect. Yeah, but wait, 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 hold up. LeBron okay, is yeah, a good I, I would say, Wait, 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 wait. LeBron is a good person. It changes the whole, like. I'm, I'm just talking about them as players. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. As players, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I like I can't appreciate like if I if I look at a player, I have to appreciate them as a person to like fully like like the player. Yeah, no, I guess I see that. Alex, what's with the uh, glasses? Last year I was what's last year I was rooting for the Chiefs. What which glasses? No, the I wanted the Niners to win. Oh yeah, these glasses. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. I just thought I'd switch it up. Yeah, well, Damn, I appreciate I'm it. Pretty Yo, if the Niners won, it would have been the biggest fuck you to the Bucks, and I would have been so happy if that happened. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, no Super Bowl parties. Um, they have to be responsible. I think I wanted last year to win. The Chiefs to win because I wanted my incorrect prediction streak to be over <laughs> because I just kept predicting Super Bowls wrong. Like I even predicted the Rams Super Bowl wrong. <laughs> and Damn, I, you bet on Jared Goff. I didn't bet money on anything. Oh, okay. I don't bet money on football because I don't know it like that. The last time I was right before that was 2015. Uh, Pats, Seahawks. You got lucky on that one. Bitch, what the fuck? Yeah, you should have been wrong on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Uh, nah, bro. I hate when people say you should have been wrong, especially about MMA. Like people were. Motherfuckers were like, you shouldn't have guessed the McGregor fight right. For like the Poirier one. McGregor's so washed up. McGregor been washed up since my junior year. Yeah, but like if they didn't if they ran the ball. Like, okay, I'm a, I'm a B for real. I completely forgot what I was about to say. I, I take your Epic. Dog, you dude, I bro. I was so mad I didn't bet like even more than I did because, I say? Because, because when McGregor walked into the ring, first off during press conferences, this cat was not on his aggressive shit. He was like, Oh, I can't uh, like, he was like, I can't wait to fight fucking Poirier. Like he's such a respectable opponent. Khabib broke that man. And honestly. And he gets in the ring and instead of being like on this Chad shit, like Chad facade that he usually is, he gets in and he does like, you know, that anxious exhale where you're like, you know that shit? Yeah. He did that, and I was like, okay, he's getting knocked the fuck out. Like, he's just getting knocked the fuck out. <clears throat> I should have bet on the round. I didn't. What I should have said, what I was going to say, but then forgot what I was going to say. I am so nervous for the Askren Jake Paul fight. Ben Askren is literally. I want the- Paul to win, bro. I can't even lie. Bro, it's so weird. Dude, I-, I love Ben Askren, but Ben Askren is about to get his ass kicked. He is. He is. He is. They're dude, boxing. Not they're boxing, him. right? They're boxing, right? They're boxing, dude. Yeah, dude. He's he's gonna he's a grappler. Dude, Ben Askren, also wrestler, fucking love Ben Askren, dude. NCAA champ, love the guy. Shittiest. I literally could probably like throw hands better than that. Ben Askren. God, God, I cannot wait for this to happen because honestly, okay, there are two types of menaces: menaces who are entertaining and menaces who are just annoying. So Jake Paul is annoying. No, he's a uh, fucking he's entertaining ass. Man. No, no. He's, 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 he's an entertaining stupid, ass man. So Tom Brady, Tom Brady is a boring ass menace because he doesn't Tom talk. Tom Brady isn't, isn't a menace like that. Like he's not like. He's a menace because he's just. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, so you're telling me you think Tom Brady is more annoying than Jake Paul? Hey, uh, no. hey, uh, wait, hey, wait. the play gate, the play gate. I s- all right, all right. There's two the most bullshit scams. When I said when I said annoying, I meant like I'm, I'm, I meant like annoying because they're there and they're a fucking menace. Because like, and when I say menace, I throw that term around loosely. I'm just saying like a menace to the sport to a point where like you take away from it in a sense, right? <laughs> so like he does fucking take away from it. It is annoying. Because he's shit. good. Okay, no, you, right, you, you don't like Tom Brady because he's it, one. It's annoying as fuck. It's annoying as fuck. It was annoying as fuck growing up, supporting the bro. When he won. Yes, it was annoying every fucking. Hold on, hold on. How are you going to compare this? Hey, 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 time, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. The Broncos no. are the only team that had a positive record against Tom Brady. No, but I'm saying, bro, like, dog. Oh, Tom Brady's a menace. I hate Tom it. Brady is a menace. Like, hey, he's not entertaining. Look me in my face and say Tom Brady's an entertaining individual. Nah, he's like, as, he's, like he's not an entertainer. No, but the reason you don't so like him boring, is boring, right? Like, so that's why I would never. That's why I would no, never. Wait, whoa, that's why I would whoa. never root for a motherfucker like that in life. Cause like I don't get anything out of it. It's like like you like turning on the Super Bowl sometimes and being like, damn, like Brady's just gonna eat through this shit. And it's just gonna be like the same old shit. It's just gonna be fucking boring, right? Yeah. As opposed to Jake Paul, where. He like talks. Oh, that's not where I thought you were going. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Drew is not on <laughs> I thought you were thinking like Patrick Mahomes, who's like throws. No, no, no I'm not. I'm not doing like. I, I'm not talking about football. I'm not talking about football. I'm saying like there are two types of menaces. Patrick Mahomes is not really a menace. Like he's someone that you appreciate in the game. You know what I'm saying? You're like I'll fuck with Patrick Mahomes. Like, yeah, until they've been six Super Bowls, then you're gonna hate him like Brady. Yes, no. for sure. If that happens, no. yes, 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 yes. No, no Drew. Drew the fan. <laughs> Drew the fan of Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, he has no pizzazz. As opposed to someone like Jake Paul, who's like, oh, like Conor McGregor, I'm going to fuck your dog. And then he gets Dude, it, 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 is being a fucking, like, gnat, being a little annoying-ass mosquito. Dude, way- he is fucking funny. You hate it. Like, like him or hate him, he's fucking hilarious, dog. Are you, oh, are you telling me that you've laughed at Jake Paul video before? Like, yes, like he did yesterday. Yes, you know there's a concept of laughing at someone and laughing with someone. Okay, yeah. If if I am laughing at someone because I'm like this dude is a fucking dumbass and like I completely have no respect for them whatsoever, and I'm laughing at how little respect I have for them, why the fuck am I gonna root for them against? Listen, because sometimes 
Sometimes it's like the saying of a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jake Paul is right about the MMA right now. When this cat gets on and posts on Instagram and he's talking about Dana White, you fat fucking bald bitch. <laughs> You say there's a zero percent chance of this fight happening. There's a zero percent chance of you getting some pussy. I love to hear shit like that. I love Dana White slander. I love Conor McGregor slander. Oh my so fucking! The enemy God. of your enemy is your friend. Exactly, and he is one entertaining ass enemy of an enemy. Holy shit! <laughs> He literally said, Conor McGregor, I know you're – he opened up by saying, Conor McGregor, I know you're in a you're in a bar probably beating the shit out of old people right now. This man <laughs> came for his life's mistakes in the opening. He unfollowed everyone on fucking uh, Instagram. Dude, don't, don't even tell me that's not corny. Except for uh, Conor McGregor's wife. <laughs> That's so corny. That's <laughs> kind of funny, bro. It's weird. That's actually kind That's of funny. That's funny if you're like 13 like, years old. Do to fuck with people when I well, I'm a little like, bit of a 13 year old. I mean, I did just laugh at BBW, like, stock trading. <laughs> yeah, Alex, Alex, you just called that corny and you're wearing those fucking glasses and have a minion behind you. Shut the and, fuck up about Bro, that's a no, pretty no, no, good no. Glasses and your swag. What are you talking about? <laughs> Swag and I'm pulling pull up this fucking video again. I know we watched it two times in the last day, but every oh time. Oh my god! I'm wearing my medal too. I wear I wear my Keisha medals. And you know damn well, you know damn well when he beats Askren, it's going straight to the head. And I'm gonna see the funniest fucking Conor McGregor call out post for the next week after he beats the shit out of Askren. I cannot wait. Literally, why could he not? I mean, I know why he didn't choose any other MMA fighter. Because, like, he's probably he would probably lose to any other. I, 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 what the fuck is up, you Irish cunt? Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now. Or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better. But happy Monday. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds. The biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Connor. You duck me because you don't want to lose to a fucking YouTuber. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 as a boxer. I just came off the eighth biggest pay-per-view event in history, but you want to fight Dustin Prober, who has less followers on Instagram than my fucking dog. That's a fact. You Dana White, you're a fucking pussy too, you ugly fucking bald Bitch. Okay, that part got me. There's a chance of this fight happening, but there's zero percent chance of you getting some fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh such a child. God. I'm a fucking Jake Fowler. I have a fucking. Shut up! Just no, a little bit. Don't say that. Don't say that. I, I almost became a maverick at the very least. I just, okay. I love the dog part. He didn't even Wait, say Dustin. Start going to the mood listen, of listen, this listen. He didn't even say BBW. He didn't even say Dustin Prober's name right. He didn't even say his name right. He called him Dustin Prober, bro. What the fuck is Dustin Prober? Oh my god. <laughs> It was kind of funny when he was like, you have less followers than my dog. <laughs> Who has less followers than my fucking dog. <laughs> That's so tough. <laughs> You fucking Irish! You fucking Irish, Conor McGregor! You're Irish. My well, accent was supposed to be too. No, Nate Diaz low key read right through Conor McGregor like to be during the first fight because he was like, "You don't even believe yourself when you say that you're gonna beat the shit out of people," and everyone was like, "No, nah, he believes it." And then you saw him get in the ring with Poirier, and he was like, "How the fuck you about to exhale greatly when you got a big ass fight in front of you? Like you should be gassed." <laughs> There's 1.89 grams. Are you doing your fucking homework? Yes, yeah. I've been doing it since 3 p.m. Awesome. Ubre dropped 40 points. Yo, he, yo, he's cooking. Bro, the more the Mavs lose, the happier I get. <laughs> like, I we have their, we have their take this year, bro. They lost to the Clippers, didn't they? <laughs> oh my god. Who? The Nuggets. Hey, Who runs your Instagram? 
They need to get paid better. Do us a favor and stay off of social media. Oh shit, no, they didn't play the Clippers. They played the Jazz. And they Why is he calling out? Dude, he's an actual menace. I just checked his Instagram so I could see anti Conor McGregor posts. But he's called out Floyd Mayweather now. He does <laughs> what? have. Yes. No, no, if he's calling out Floyd Mayweather, he's actually an idiot. Like, by every Instagram. They need to get paid better. Do us a favor and stay off of social media. You should focus on learning to read, retirement, or maybe an encyclopedia. You call me out to fight, but you're half my height. You might beat my brother, but Jake Paul is a different type. Uh -huh. Proposition. I don't do exhibitions. We can fight on my conditions. 50-50 commissions. Oh, and we have to try training Nate to beat me. I left him unconscious on the canvas. Let's hope you're not that easy. No way he calling out fucking Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Yo, but okay, why was that kind of a bar? 50 no, 50 yeah, so, I'm just kidding. No, you shit. weren't. No, you weren't. Don't it's lie. You literally no weren't. Words. What the fuck? I didn't know that Floyd trained Nate Robinson. I hated that so much, that Nate Robinson fight. Dude literally beat like a 5'10 NBA player. That was the most pissed I've been at a sporting event since the Chiefs lost the 2018 AFC championship game. What did anyone think was going to who? who? The Tom Brady. Yes, the Tom Brady. Which is why if they get beat on Sunday, I'm going to be livid. <laughs> Wait, you bet money on uh, the Chiefs? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that choice. That's <laughs> where I... <laughs> no, like, uh, no, no, no. Like, that's not even supposed to be negative. I literally don't know about that choice. Because usually I have, like, confident predictions about everything. I don't have a prediction about this game. I think it's going to be close. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. I'm more inclined Bro, to Bro, I'm not going to lie. I I'm think more it's going to be a Chiefs blowout. I think the Chiefs are really? going to blow out the Bucks. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the Chiefs defense is some. Um, Our like, offensive line is ass. Bro, bro. I want, like, I'm sorry, but every team in the NFC, like, the NFC is just miles behind the AFC. And, like, there's no shot. I don't believe Brady. I don't believe Brady has a shot. We'll see. I mean, the Chiefs got some stellar fucking defense. Like, so. the only way, the only way the Bucks win is if Brady, like, he played ass against the fucking Packers. Unless he somehow turns the clock back two, three, four. He has to turn into fourth quarter. Atlanta Falcons game, Brady, if he wants to win. That and game that was, pissed me the fuck off. No, that was the best. No, I'm not going to lie. That was the best performance I've ever seen in my life. Holy crap. That was actually so Someone good. said we should start a GoFundMe to have Jake on stream. That, bro, no, that would no we like, should not. That would cost like $2 million. <laughs> No, Yo, Jake would leave right away because I would tell him the, you know. Yo, Drew has COVID. Maybe we could like make a wish that shit real quick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Aren't you immunocompromised? Aren't you immunocompromised? I'm a short Drew's life. <laughs> and against it. <laughs> the big short. Nah, I'm just kidding. Drew isn't immunocompromised. Wait, actually, does asthma count as immunocompromised? Bitch, <laughs> Wait, does it? Drew, can you fucking hear me? The COVID took his voice already. Oh, his mic is off. Shit. Okay. The COVID got to his vocal cords. He's That's dumb. so sad. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, he's I, I turned it off. That. Yes, Mr. Sprint commercial. What was I going to say? Hold up. Imagine if you could short people's lives. Like, if you could bet against their life continue. <laughs> this is asthma. This is your capitalism. Immunocompromised. Oh, some people can be. Are you immunocompromised? No, right? No, I don't think so. Bro, ain't that low key what life insurance no. is, though? I don't know, but Walmart did top one smartest things in 2008. Y'all notice there aren't greeters anymore? No, I don't go to Walmart. Like, people in chat who go to Walmart, remember they used to have old people that would like give you a sticker after you bought shit and like say yeah, yeah, hi yeah. when you walk in? They don't have They don't anymore. do that anymore? Not really. No. no. That's so sad. 
And the reason they don't do that anymore is because them motherfuckers were for decoration because they would take advantage of old people. When they signed a Walmart contract to work for them, they signed away their life insurance in fine print so that the family didn't get the life insurance money and the Walmart corporation got it instead. And they didn't know that because they were old as shit and they didn't have attorneys look over their things and they couldn't see it in this fine print. And their family Wait, that's not so the life insurance money. Yeah, it's really And fun. that's why Walmart was hiring old people as greedy. <laughs> and then one day they got caught lacking, so they stopped. Oh, they should get sued Walmart. for that. What the hell? You can't right. get sued for signing away something voluntarily. Right. Did, y- did y'all see the Amazon <laughs> was like stealing moment. driver's tips? Amazon's what? Amazon was like stealing tips from their truck drivers. Someone said, bro, that's hikey, dude. Don't worry. They got, they got <laughs> bro, that's not apology. nice. They got the notes apology. <laughs> like, bro, bro, the notes what apology. The fuck, from- dog? What the fuck, Walmart? Life insurance. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Walmart. Not cool. <laughs> Walmart, I unfollowed. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> The most powerful message of 2020 right there, folks. Not cool, Walmart. Seth literally laughs like, ha, ha, ha. Do you? So true. Do you? Walmart is canceled. Yo, I'm going to change my profile. Pick the oh, shit. Walmart. You still have your taste buds, Drew? Yeah. I haven't lost taste, surprisingly. Uh, I think that'll be okay. Second. Let's see your tongue then. That'll be a second wave moment. <laughs> I don't know about the second wave, Ilya. I don't know if this. I look like I'd say what? Dog. Alex, you look like you say shut up, so why don't you shut up? Damn, what? that was so rude. You know what's sad, Drew? That was a uh, miss. I, I like the first time, the first time my homie Darf had COVID, and I was like, bruh. You know it comes in two waves, right? And I was just bullshitting. Like, I didn't think it was true. And then he he was like, no way, you're fucking lying. I was like, yeah, Google it. So Because I didn't think he'd call my bluff. And he Googled it, and it actually turned out to be true. It oh, does shit. two waves. <laughs> like, here's the article in uh, chat. Drew, believe the hurting it. Why did my image come off like this? Shoot, I have to... Okay. It is. That's yeah, so man. ass, bro. Why the fuck does it come in two ways? It yeah, is 10 man. 21 p.m. And Imagine the first motherfucker who has Alex's it. bedtime, Ilya. And Don't talk over me. It's my bedtime. Damn, so it, go to Ilya. bed. Good night. Okay, well, I wanted to say good night to everyone first, okay? So no, let me no, have no. my moment. Okay. Good night, Ilya. Good night, Alex. Good night, Drew. Good night, Seth. Good night, I guess, Tanish. Hey, good night. Yeah, you better say good night. Good night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn, I usually just throw up a peace sign and leave. <laughs> More than I do. You look. Like, <laughs> you just say good night. Did you just still hurt like a bitch, like Drew? Do you have like shortness of breath and shit? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. At least you got your Wait, I'm not going to catch it being in here with you, right? <laughs> Imagine, the thing Imagine. Put on a mask. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo. Luckily, Yo, every time somebody luckily says, that means this motherfucker is gonna be immune when I pull no, up. No, every time somebody says something like that, it takes me back to that one Mo debate where he offered voted all the mask. Someone said I like it. <laughs> that shit was so it's funny. A Texas shirt. Oh god. I dream about my cattle that's weird. Listen. Every couple weeks, I literally just look at property in Texas for like two fucking hours. Teddy <laughs> I do that, but with Montana. Bro, that's such an Yo, I look you want to move to Montana, bro. Montana is beautiful. I would live there. Yo, you guys trying to start a commune in Montana? Maybe. Bro. No. Uh, yeah. Some Discord, bro. Y'all some Discord motherfuckers, so like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can chop wood. No, like that's where Yo, way. John yeah, Tester yeah. gonna lead the commune in Montana, bruh. Yeah, I bet your daddy's real proud. If I was a little girl turned out. What? No. You hit oh, those. Someone's echoing. What group chat is this? Echo. Oh, I hear it. Oh, I, don't. I heard it first. I heard it. It's not there anymore. No, look, if I yell, Echo! 
Okay, I actually didn't fuck with New Country, but I fucking uh, like New Country. Like, I started listening to it, like, two weeks ago. Like, I'm talking about, like, that new era of, like... Uh, Cringe. Like, post- like, the bubblegum pop? Like, Luke, Luke Combs and shit. Like, the overwhelming country. Most acceptable country. Yeah, but your daddy real proud. <laughs> Uh, a little girl turned down. Uh... Haley looks like that he can't even bait a hook. He doesn't know who Jack Daniels is. So. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even bait a hook. Imagine, bro. You don't know who Jack Daniels is. Holy shit. I, I like Italian. What? What? <laughs> Okay, actually, y'all know what Car Talk is, right? Yeah. Okay, so Car Talk was a radio show. It's discontinued in 2012 when I was 10 years old. So I've been listening to reruns for the last 10 years. <laughs> so, uh, But every week on Car Talk, or every episode, I guess, now that it's discontinued, uh, they do a puzzler, right? Which is like a little riddle. Tom and, and Ray. This one fucked me up. Well, they don't go by Tom and Ray on the show. They go by Click and Clack, the Tapping yeah. Brothers. But um, they every week they do a puzzle. And this week's puzzle, someone turn chat on uh, email only because I don't want someone to Google it and ruin it for the motherfuckers in the stream. Tanish, can you or Greasy, can you put a chat on emote only for like three minutes? Oh, okay, I gotta get this whole tab up. Oh, you someone did it. Yeah, 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 wait. Thank you, Mari. All right, don't turn that off. All right, here's the riddle. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. So a guy wakes up uh, and goes to work, right? And, like, he had just recently got a brand new digital watch, right? So he puts this watch on and he heads to work. And it's early as hell in the morning, right? So he gets there. He didn't get to eat breakfast because he slept in, right? So he gets to work. And he has a meeting, right? So he's sitting through this meeting and it's feeling like forever. And finally it's over. And he's like hungry as hell. Like the whole time he's getting like hunger aches and hunger pains and shit like that, right? So after the meeting's over, he's like, holy shit, I'm so hungry. And he's like, what time is it? So he checks his clock and it says 1201. And he's like, oh my God, it's already 1201. Like no wonder I'm so hungry. It's lunchtime. So he gets out of the office and he runs to the nearest diner. And the diner opens up at 11 a.m. So he's heading to this diner, uh, 12.01. He fucking gets to the door. He tries to walk in, and it's locked. But the diner opens up at 11 a.m. Why was the diner closed? The was horse's name was Tuesday. Exactly. Right. All right. You, you, each get a guess. you each get a guess. Greasy? Wait, sorry. I was not listening. <laughs> Tanish? Can you repeat the riddle? God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Repeat the riddle. Repeat the riddle. Bro. Yo, straight up wasn't. No, I was taking pictures of all my right, All right, friends. all right, all right. I attention. was asking some homie for Pay attention this time. Fucking chat is on emote only. Y'all are holding. Y'all are dicks for holding everyone up. All right. Are you listening this time? Yeah. Yeah. You're suspended from the stream in a week if you don't have an, uh, for a week if you don't have an answer after I repeat it. All right. All right. Listen. Pay the fuck attention. Look out the camera, Greasy. Oh, my God. Wait one second. <laughs> all right. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I just did my say. homework. All right, dude wakes up, right? He had just got a new digital watch. He puts on his watch, goes to work. He didn't get to eat breakfast in the morning because he was like running late to work. He gets to work. He's sitting through this long ass meeting, right? He's, it's taking forever. He's like hungry as fuck throughout the entire meeting. Finally, the meeting's over. He's like, holy shit, why am I so hungry? Looks at his clock. It says 1201. He's like, oh my God, it's 1201. It's lunchtime. Like, no wonder I'm so hungry. So he sprints out of the office and he runs down to the local diner. The diner opens up at 11 a.m., right? He gets to the front of the uh, diner, and he tries to open the door, but it's locked. Why was the diner closed? All right. So here are my possible guesses. However, uh, Just one. straight to the point, brother. Just one. All right. There, I'm, just one? Yeah, just one. Uh, his watch was in a different time zone. <laughs> All right, Tanish. That's actually not a bad guess. Uh, I'm going to say the diner was actually closed. 
Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm playing. Um, basically, uh, he he went to the wrong entrance. I'm oh, fucking up. Drew. Ah, oh, that was a good ass guess that he went to the wrong door to the diner. That's why it was fucking locked. Is it closed or was the door just locked? The diner was closed. Oh, oh you said God. door was locked, bro. That's why I said no. Oh, sure. He's the first time you said it closed. I either think, I either think question, it's question was why it, was the diner closed? I either think it's because it was like midnight, twelve oh one, or it was like New Year's Day or some shit. I right, Seth. I like that. That was good. Uh, I don't know. Drew's is kind of good, but I want to steal. No, hold on. Like, All right, says, Y'all no, wait, I want to change my guess. I want to change my guess. No, because shut I up. No, no, I don't That's care. Seth guess. I was gonna, I was gonna say that uh, it, because it's a new watch, the time was still like. Yeah, not like, that set. could be something. All right, it's, turn yeah. the code only off. Y'all ready for the answer? Yeah. The watch was dumb shit. Down. The watch was upside down. Kill yourself! <laughs> Holy shit! I hate you. <laughs> wait. So it's a digital a watch, twelve oh one. It was actually ten twelve. The diner opens up at eleven. 11. Okay. Yo, the horse's name was still Friday, bro. <laughs> so true, dude. I Carly was the best fucking show. I saw a uh, Jeanette McCurdy in person. That's so dumb. Oh my god! If you're mad, say it. <laughs> like it's actually bro. not dumb. Like digital bro, watches. Up if, and you didn't, if you didn't get it, just say it, bro. Like, yeah, like, like why are you coping in chess or That's cold. Just, if you don't got critical thinking, just say it. Bro, <laughs> that's shut my, up. That's one of my biggest oh my is Seth. I gave Jeanette McCurdy a hug. Lucky. <laughs> I know. I was like eight. Eight or nine. That's a shit answer. It's literally genius because who thinks about that? Like, it's literally so facts. If you put a digital watch on the other side, it's literally... Like it'll give you a whole different number, right? 1201, 10, 12. Or 10, whatever the fuck. Yeah. 10. Nah, Dude, I still think I'm right. Chad, you know how riddles work? What the fuck? I still think I'm right. 1051. That's right. That's right. 1051, my bad. Bro, I like the New Year's one. It's pretty good. Brand. Yeah, that you made your daddy so proud. Digital watches look different. I'm like, nope, not all of them. I've had a digital watch that's the exact same. If you have like that boomer ass digital watch, it literally looks the exact same. Bro, think of digital watches like your calculator. I like the doctor one. The doctor one is so fucking corny. Y'all know the doctor one? All right, emote only chat. Like ASAP, no. ASAP, 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 ASAP. It's on, it's on. Yo, did y'all used to do this right, with right, your calculator? Right. So if I'm remembering the doctor correctly. Did y'all ever used to do shit like this with your calculator? No, do booby. What the fuck? Right, what right. is that? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? So if I'm remembering this correctly, basically, a uh, doctor and uh, doctor and their son are in a car, right? Uh, a doctor and his son are in a car, right? Oh, wait, fuck. Okay, I fucked it up. One second. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, you yeah. did fuck that up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Let me start over. Let me start over. Okay. A dude and his son are in a car, right? A dad, <laughs> a dad and his son are in a car, right? They get into a fucking like terrible ass accident, right? That I'm gonna improv improvise a little bit because I don't know exactly how it goes, but this won't affect the story. Uh they get in a terrible ass accident and they both get life lighted to the hospital, right? And uh they both get life lighted to the hospital and they're put into like two different rooms for surgeries. And they're about to operate on this kid, and then the doctor walks in and they're like, Wait, that's my son. How's that possible? It's his mom. Yeah, <laughs> it's corny as fuck if you're not misogynistic. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh. <laughs> That's not possible. Doctor? That's an unrealistic riddle. Turn That's a STEM only career. Off. Turn emote <laughs> only off. Turn emote only off. <laughs> that was such a stupid one. I'm sorry. That was bad. Yeah, but like. Dude, it's... that legit only works if you're sexist. What the fuck? <laughs> I know. It's used a lot in gender study classes. That was a girl boss moment. Bro, I thought this... Mm. Like, it's used to show that, like, implicitly we assume people are uh, 
you know, like professions of that sort are like masculine and shit like that. No, look, I, 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 my first guess was, oh, it had to be a what? It had to be a wife. And my second guess was they were a what? What do you mean it had to be a wife? Well, so wifey, like what does that mean? It had to be a wife. Or do you mean the wife, like his mom? Yes. Why wouldn't you just say it's his fucking mom? What does that mean? No, be because, because, well, when you're putting an or, or situation, you don't specify the the, because there's an or. Or it was, or the, hold on. Or it was an, or there was an adoption done. And it was, it was the, the birth. Person. Man, sometimes I'm so happy that you don't have to get high to feel high. Because <laughs> I had an aneurysm of trying to understand what you were talking about. <laughs> Basically, I said, I don't even know what I'm saying, bro. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to submit my assignments, man. All right. Labor strikes of the 19th century. My drive. All right, I'm going to just go on car talk, best puzzlers. Turn emote only back on. Ready? This one. I'm going along with you guys. I haven't heard this one before. A woman and her husband decide to go shopping one Saturday for a used car. So they go to the neighborhood used car dealer and a young... What the fuck? Who was is playing that? Wizard Mode? I one in the background. What the fuck? Alex. <laughs> Alex, how you with Alex? All right, ready? What the hell are you playing? Yeah. A woman... I heard a cow. Yeah, that's what fucking threw me off, that loud-ass moo. All right. A woman and her husband decide to go shopping one Saturday for a used car. So they go to the neighborhood used car dealer, and a young man is showing them various cars in the lot. They don't seem to be really excited about any one of them. Finally, the used car dealer says, Oh, how could I have forgotten this one? I have just a car for you. I know you're going to love it. He takes them over to a late-model Japanese car. You're not going to believe this. This car belonged to my fourth grade teacher, Miss Johnson. It's a wonderful car, and she treated it very well and had all the service done here. Interestingly, she never left town with the car. All she ever did with the car was uh, driving from home to school and back, and on Sunday, she went to church. She never used the car on Saturdays. They look over the car, and it looks magnificent. So the woman asks the obvious question, why did Miss Johnson sell the car? He responds, well, as luck would have it, she was called out of town on very short notice to care for a sick relative in the Midwest. So she came in here last week and sold us the car. And of course, it's your good fortune that it's here. The woman gets in behind the wheel and starts up the engine. It sounds fine. The husband sits in the passenger seat and they fiddle with the control the controls. She fiddles with the controls on the dashboard, tries the wipers, blows the horn and looks around the car. Geez, honey, her husband says. It's a great color, too. I think we ought to get it. I don't think so, she says, as she turns off the key. He's lying to us. The question is, how did she know? Mm. I'm gonna keep it. Can you just send the link so I can read it myself? God. <laughs> Yo, I got lost like eight times in that thing. It could be related to her. <laughs> what the fuck it is this? Do you want to hear the answer? What? The woman got in the car and fiddled with all the controls. She blew the horn. She turned on the heater, ran the wipers. She also turned on the radio. And when she turned on the radio, she noticed that it was not set to a local station. In fact, there was a noise... There was noise coming across. So she tried another station and another and another. And in every case, the presets were set to stations that were not local stations. So this car was clearly from out of town. And if the story were absolutely true that Miss Johnson never left town, then how could she have listened to these stations? That was the dumbest how do you get that? Bro, are you guys fuck? doing okay. riddles, bro? Bro, you know yeah. that. Wait, 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 wait. You know that like people literally guess this shit. It's insane. They will have like a thousand correct guesses. They make like... Most of the time, they make it hard and hyper specific as fuck, so that uh, uh, so that like they can narrow it down to only a couple thousand people getting it right. Why is chat on emo only? Because we're doing riddles. We Actually, spoilers. you could turn it off emote only because these are hard as fuck. Yeah, it's but I swear to God, if you ruin it, just don't I'm, put. The I'm just not reading chat. Don't Fuck put the that. Correct, Wait, just don't, don't read chat. Answer. Yeah, I trust y'all. 
Okay, you... somebody, somebody, wait, can you screen share your screen so we can see the riddle? No, oh, because you can see the fucking answer on them. Uh, I thought you were playing I, too. I thought the answer would be at like the bottom or some shit. Yeah. What, isn't it like a click here to reveal answer or some shit? <laughs> this one kind of like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> All right, but I was <laughs> nah, that it's a little outdated. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. This one sounds interesting. No. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, fuck. It's okay. I'm tired of this cat guessing them correctly. Damn! Holy fuck! This answer is like fucking two pages long. God, can we not do this? How are we supposed to get that? Then? Dude, people no guessed it right. Uh, I'm telling y'all, they Loki got a smart audience. <laughs> Some of these are literally just like math problems. You fuck that. Yeah, don't right. do math. Let's do it. No, shut up, me. please. I no. beg you. Oh I feel the math quiz today. I don't need more of that. No, I'm actually fine. This story. one's for mechanics. <sighs> All right, let's try this one. Okay, this is a math problem. Fuck. Hell no. <laughs> okay, go on a different website. No, because these are good. No, <laughs> you can't find <laughs> them. These are good because no one gets them. <laughs> That's the worst part. What the hell? Dog, I'm not trying to think of a two page essay. On why exactly. on what the riddle is. <laughs> Look at this kind of a detective or some shit. Nah, some of them are straight to the point. Like the fucking watch one. Just no one. Yeah, just look up, look up normal. normal. Watch one. What are you talking about? Bullshit. Josh, like the watch one was like plausible. Josh, you 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 want to try to guess on the watch one? Sure. Don't read chat because all the chat already knows. Chat, this one's no, awesome. I'm gonna just click off. I mean, Josh, this one's stupid. <laughs> no, you're just mad. If you're mad, you're, you're, you're kind of coping with the real. If you're mad, you're mad. <laughs> it's not even dumb like that. All right. Basically, a uh, guy gets up for work. He had just bought a brand new digital watch, right? So he puts on this digital, digital watch. Digital watch? Yeah. He, he okay. puts on. Damn, I'm liking this. This cat. See, this cat, Josh, already asking the right questions. <clears throat> so he puts on this digital watch and he runs to work, right? He gets to work. Uh. Uh, he had to skip breakfast because it was so early in the morning and like he woke up too late. So he didn't have time to eat breakfast. So he gets to work and he has a meeting like right when he gets to work, he sits through this meeting and like lasts forever. <clears throat> he gets out of the meeting the whole time during the meeting. He's like having hunger aches and shit. Like everything's in pain in his stomach. When the meeting ends, he's like, holy shit, I'm so hungry. What time is it? He looks at his clock and it says 12.01. And he's like, okay, holy shit. No wonder I'm so hungry. It's lunchtime. So he gets out of the wait, office. Wait, wait. I have a question. When, yes. you, when you say clock, do you mean watch? Yeah, yeah, the watch, the digital watch. Okay. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay, good. What the fuck? <laughs> so he looks at the digital watch and he's like, uh, damn, it's 12.01. Like, uh, I got to, like, uh, fuck, dude. This guy actually tripping me up with the questions he asked. It's 12.01. I got to, like, it's my lunch break. I got to go eat lunch, right? So he sprints out of the office. He goes uh, to his local diner, which opens up at 11 a.m., right? And he goes to the doors and he tries to open it, but it's locked. The diner's closed, but it's 12.01. Why is the diner closed? The only thing he used to tell time was his watch, right? Yeah. Uh, it's digital? Yep. Digitalizing, okay. Like so, it shows the numbers on the watch. Yep. Like direct, mm -hmm. like digits. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what did was it like a specific hand he wrote? If he he had the watch on, or I guess I wrote it. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay, I have like two things. A, either the dog like the watch like malfunctioned, or he just wore it wrong. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, it was upside down. down. It was upside down. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Drew, somebody in chat also has COVID. See, y'all say, nice. oh, oh, it's dumb. Nah, motherfuckers, y'all just not going to Harvard. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, Damn. Dude, I'll never understand why Bean looked like this during the debate. It's, yeah. it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, send, me, send me that. I need to make that a profile picture on something. There's the height as insecurity it has to be. Bro, he was trying to roast me in a group chat, but that's, him, that's a menace right there. Ben is a lucky <laughs> menace, but he can't be one. Nobody. Like, he must be a menace so <laughs> bad. He just can't Here. accomplish being a menace. Drew, I'll DM you on Twitter. Bro, how, like, <laughs> this is one of his pictures on Instagram, bro. How are you going to try roasting me when you It's <laughs> <laughs> nice green, bro. Bro, it's me. Bro, this shit is so funny. I love this picture so much. Who won that debate? I didn't get to watch it in school. I did. I won that debate when I got this picture. Bro, look at this goatee. <laughs> Bro, he needs a shave. Holy shit. Oh my god. The half beard doesn't work for him. <laughs> all right. I, I guess this one's all right. All right. Ready? <clears throat> I thought I'd okay. you on Actually, you know what? Because this is about to be long. Let me get a notebook. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not long for car talk, it's a pretty short answer. You see, a lot of the time, this is what's actually funny about these. A lot of the time, and this one's kind of easy, so put emote only on. Uh, a lot of the time, these are like real life ones, right? Uh, so this one is actually like a real story. Anyone put emote only on? Is I it did. On? All right, all right. All right, pay attention. Josh, you back? Yeah, I'm back. All right. I didn't even get the notebook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this puzzler was sent in by George Parks. He writes, my son sat patiently in his wait, seat. Wait, wait, What's the vocation of the dude again? A puzzler? Because you you're, your feet... That, I, I... that, yeah, that I know, part is not necessary. This is just... I a... know, but it's just funny. Damn, spoiler. Yeah, <laughs> this is a fucking radio transcript. Like, this is what they said word for word. Right. This we'll puzzler... Say it again word for word. This puzzler was sent in by George Parks. This does not matter to the fucking puzzler, okay? <laughs> this puzzler was sent in by George Parks. He writes, now here's where shit uh, starts to matter. My son sat patiently in his seat and waited for service. After a while, an attractive looking young lady came over and asked if he would like something to drink. He replied that he'd like a beer. Being youthful in feature and appearance, she asked him to produce an ID. The woman checks his ID and with no problem serves him his beer. Four hours later, he's in the same chair and asks the same server for another beer. To a surprise, the server again asks for his ID. Not a surprise. She forgot who he was. He produces the same ID. The server tells him, unfortunately, she cannot serve him alcohol at this time as it would be illegal for her to do so. It has nothing to do with closing times or blood alcohol levels. Okay, this is actually hard without the context. <laughs> what, what are we? What are we supposed to answer? It, it why, was the same waitress. Yeah. Why did she not serve him the first time? Why was it legal to serve him the first time but not the second time? This one's actually hard as fuck. Okay, I read the answer first, so it, it looked oh, easy. Is it like long and detailed? Uh, it's not really long, but it's like a like you have to. It's a very specific like thing. And, and I mean, it really is the only situation in like our reality where this could happen. Can't your parents like allow for you to get? Was like, was his dad yeah, there? With I think it was just on the second. It's nothing like that. It's not like that. Okay. Would it be Does something like driving? Country? Huh? Like, mm, like where? Like region? Oh, was it? Wait, 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 wait was it daylight savings? No, but Fuck. that would have been a good one. Time. Though. The concept of time has he getting warm. Like thinking about time. I'm thinking about time. Can then also alcohol after a certain time period or like a, a certain time? I don't know, but somebody sent the cam answers to the group chat. So, so epic. We don't Sounds have real. the age of the kid. Uh, so I'm assuming he's like old enough at first, but then not old enough the second time. It's, this is the same place? Yeah. Same waitress, same everything. So his and it was a four-hour difference? 
leap year? What the fuck? No, that wouldn't make sense. Same, wait, mm. Yep, four hour difference. Okay. The twenty first amendment was passed. Uh, sorry, the the eighteenth okay, prohibition. Wait, at this point, I feel like I would have gotten it. <laughs> Shut, shut up. up. Shut no, up. Actually, yeah. shut up. At this point, because there's really maybe because like I recently just like was like went through this, so it kind of makes sense to me like a bit more than the average person. Oh, is that it's on a plane? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh. that makes so much more sense now. It says George oh, was returning God. from a study trip in China. He was flying from China into oh, America. Yeah. And when he got on the plane, it was his 21st birthday. The plane takes off. He asks for a drink. The server checks his ID and serves him a drink. But four hours later, when the plane had crossed the international date line, George's son lost a day and found himself underage once again. So it's like the concept of time zones. Dude, I'm so mad because you didn't say where it Wait, was. I, I noted that. Like, and then I just assumed it was a diner. Four hours. That's my dumbass guess, like fucking – um daylight savings yeah i was gonna say daylight savings daylight savings yeah, I, I didn't hear right, you can turn emote only off for now bro i'm so mad i actually got that i was saying that's what i was saying at that point like i i feel like i would have known it i thought they changed the law mid <laughs> yo you know who the most confusing senator is fucking rand paul holy shit Hungry. Oh, Yo, these motherfucking senators have been voting since 2.30 p.m. That's crazy. That's such an L. Why would you do that to yourself? Yeah. Yo, how are some of them surviving, bro? Diane Feinstein's 89-year-old ass. <laughs> 